Hey Vsauce, I'm Jake and I have been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto 5 recently, like a lot of Grand Theft Auto, but we're not here to talk about my crippling addiction, no. We are here because while playing, I started thinking about how heavy all the weapons I was carrying were. So I found the closest real world counterparts and with every weapon slot full, loaded with ammo, you are carrying anywhere from 600 to 800 pounds. It would be like strapping a motorcycle to your back. According to the US military, an infantry soldier's fighting load should not exceed 48 pounds or 33% their body weight. When marching, it should be around 72 pounds, but that has been known to go up close to 100. In 1989, Dr. Joseph Knappick published a study on loads carried by US military infantry, and interestingly points out that since the Industrial Revolution, humans have grown an estimated 10 centimeters. And as we have gotten larger in height and weight, the more we have been given to carry. However, fictionally speaking, GTA 5 is but a blip compared to what you can carry in other games. In Minecraft, for example, Steve can carry a lot, all while running, jumping, and climbing. If we take the heaviest element that exists both in the game and real life, gold, fill all 36 inventory slots with 64 stacks of the stuff, it has been calculated to weigh 44,467 metric tons that Steve can carry. In the great video The Biggest Organism on Earth, Henry from Minute Earth points out that the heaviest known organism is the Pando, a clonal colony of over 47,000 aspen trees that are interconnected underground. It weighs about 6,000 tons, or seven and a half times less than the gold that Steve is cruising around with. As of 2012, it was estimated that 174,000 tons of gold have been mined, ever, in the entirety of human history. So that means in Minecraft, you can carry 25% of all the gold we have ever found on Earth so far. If you had that much gold in real life, it would currently be equal to 1.8 trillion dollars. That could get you a trip to the moon and back 2,506 times, over 2 trillion soft tacos from Taco Bell, or you could reduce the US national debt by 11%. Obviously we can't carry that much gold or that much of anything unassisted. So what is the most that someone has carried? Patrick Babomian in September of 2013 took the world record for carrying 1,216 pounds for 10 meters, the most carried by any body. Every day we carry things that aren't part of our body, our clothes for example, unless you're not wearing clothes, which is fine, but right now you are carrying inside you about four pounds of bacteria. In fact, you and I have more bacterial cells in our body than we do human ones. However, they are so small in size that they only make up one to 3% of our body mass. Similarly, our brains are only 2% of our total weight but contain massive amounts of information. Professor of psychology Paul Reber postulated that the human brain has the memory capacity equal to 2.5 petabytes, enough to hold 3 million hours of TV. So then how much does a memory or an experience weigh? Well, no one's been able to figure out the weight of a memory yet, but you can measure it yourself emotionally. When you say I love you to someone and they don't say it back, maybe that has more weight than the time you got Bebop and Rocksteady action figures. We have countless experiences and emotions that we personally assign an importance to, a weight. And maybe it isn't so much the weight of a memory, but the way we carry it. Even though sometimes it feels like you're being crushed emotionally, that you're stuck, that you can't move forward, you still find a way to carry on. So the next time you have something heavy on your mind, Think about good old Steve and how he has to carry as much as 25% of all the gold ever mined on Earth. And as always, thanks for watching.